We all know that LED headlights are an easy and great upgrade to any vehicle. But what you might not know is doing it incorrectly could damage your ECU, causing your engine not to start, or at least cause a bunch of dash lights. Today we're going to talk about how to avoid that and upgrade your car's headlights to LEDs correctly. LED headlights are more efficient because they run differently. An incandescent light bulb runs constantly. The power is flowing through this element all the time. LED headlights function differently. They actually pulsate, and this can cause problems, especially with foreign cars. Some of these foreign vehicles have what's called a CAN bus system operating their ECUs. The problem with this is the CAN bus signals for the ECU look like this. The LED signal looks like this. See how similar they look? Well, the ECU confuses the two of these signals, the pulsating from the LED headlights can confuse the ECU and interrupt some signals. By getting your LED bulbs through a specialist, like the people at Oxido, they'll make sure you get the correct LED headlights and the correct protections for your ECU. So I've got this link that I used to get 15% off bulbs and I was using it when they made me aware of the CAN bus situation and actually told me about these decoders for these isolators they've got. All right, so my Volkswagen's CAN bus, obviously. So I've got the CAN bus isolators and I got the LED headlights. They come as this nice kit. It's got gloves, wire ties, everything you need to install them. Look at these bulbs. They've got the ballast right on the back, cooling fans, so much better than the in-store bulbs. These bulbs are the same price as buying them in-store, but look at how much better quality you get in a product. I wanna make sure you guys realize how much better of a value you get from ordering these bulbs like this. Such a better product, such a higher quality of service. Make sure you use the link below, order your bulbs, use the discount code, and get your bulbs done right. The last hurdle you might have is fitment. Your headlight clips may not fit perfectly around these heat sinks, so you may need to modify the clip a little bit. I found that just bending the tip of the clip down allowed me to install the clip around the headlight bulb first, install the bulb, and then work the clip in and clip the clip into place. This is the CAN bus isolator. So basically this just gets plugged in in line. And I know what you're thinking, that's a lot of equipment there. But luckily, you make sure it's small enough that it fits. Underneath the factory cover. If you're interested in converting your car to LED bulbs, use the link I use below. Get a discount off of Oxido bulbs. They'll make sure you get the correct bulbs, make sure you get the CAN bus protectors, and make sure you get your headlight bulbs done correctly without doing any damage the first time. And the best thing is, it doesn't end up being any more expensive as going to the store and getting them at your local parts store. If you like this video and you haven't seen my Blinker Hyper Flash video, check that out right here. Check out some of my other cool car videos here. I'll catch you guys next time.